Hello, Wilson guests. We have had many questions on how to keep your petunia hanging baskets and combination planters happy and beautiful and alive. Here are several tips to help you with that. One, keep them deadheaded. Now there's a couple different ways you can deadhead. Um, most people just pull off the dead blooms like this and not every petunia is made the same. Some bloom remove the blooms fell off on their own. The other correct way to do it is if you find your dead bloom to go to the next branch leaf and pinch it off like so. So find a dead find a dead thing. So if you can find it, see this is why sometimes I don't do this. I just pull off the dead ones. Anyhow, this would encourage branching. So if you want to do it that way, find a dead leaf or dead uh, bloom, pull it off to the next leaf and it'll encourage branching and more blooms. Now you can just shake some bloom or petunias, you just shake them and they will just fall, right? The dead blooms will fall on the thing. Later on in the summer, you can give them a light haircut to keep them and let them flush out again. Another consistent thing to do with petunias is they need consistent water. They do not like to go bone dry. If you let them go bone dry one time, they may not recover from that bone dryness. So keep an eye on them during the hottest part of the days, like in 90 degree. So take your finger, stick your finger down in. If it is moist up to your knuckle here, then leave it. But if it's completely dry, give it a good watering until it comes out the bottom of the pot. Another thing is petunias love fertilizer. We feed ours once every week, once every two weeks, depending on how big the plant is. And we use Petunia Jack's feed. This stuff works good. And if you're noticing your plant is turning yellow, it could be because it needs fed. Um, also, if you notice that your petunias are not blooming as much, it could be because it's, it needs to be fed. So. Place your plant in a full sun area. But in the summertime, they do can have a tendency, petunias I found, don't like the hot, hot heat. So maybe a little bit of late afternoon shade can help you to keep them happy. Another thing is don't water the foliage. Avoid the foliage. When you water, water at the base of the plant. So on the sides, around the whole entire sides of the plant not on the top, directly on the foliage, because that'll protect your blooms and keep them healthy and they will last longer. So, definitely water, consistent, full sun, maybe some light shade in the hot, hot summer days, um, not complete darkness. They don't survive, they will not survive in complete shade. Um, fertilize, keep them fertilized weekly, once every other week. Um, make sure not to fertilize them during the heat of the day and deadhead them. If it means just pulling off these or shaking the plant so they come off, or if it means going back to the next set of leaves like that and pinching them, you can do that, okay? If you have any further questions, see our website. We have plenty of tutorials. Um, come into the store, ask someone. We were willing to help you anyway. Um, you want, and we hope you keep your plants healthy and alive. Thank you.